now that our VS Code project is done and everything is programmed, we want to deploy that code to the VMX so that we can see if this all works. Before we can do that, we need to change the target for the project to the VMX. To do that, I'm going to use the WSR command palette. If you don't have the WSR command palette, you can go to extensions, search for VMX, and you'll find the WSR command palette. So I'm going to hit WSR command palette, set the deploy target to VMX, and it will run a build to make sure everything is good. Now that we are set up as a VMX target, I can connect to the VMX Wi-Fi. In this case, I have training.1234. Let's connect. This could take a minute or two, so please be patient. and we're now connected. So I'm going to use the WPI command palette. I'm going to search for a deploy. So WPI deploy robot code. Click it and it will deploy to the robot. You can see it's uh, successful and it's deployed to the robot. Now to actually view and access it, I'm going to use the console so here's the control station console. My robot's IP address is 10.12.34.2. And shuffleboard will also open. By default, you will see this. Now, Mine is showing QR code text because it's already read the QR code. And you can also see the vision tab that we created before with the data, the type, and the barcode here. Now yours might say null, null, and false with nothing was read. Now, as you can see, we can't click on this button. It, do it does nothing. So on the red part area here, right click show as toggle button. This will make it into an actual button we can click to get a new barcode. As you see when I hit it, nothing happens. That is because the robot is not enabled. So let's bring the station back up and we'll hit E to enable. You see enabled now. Go back to shuffleboard. I'm going to hold a different barcode in front of the camera. And we'll, we'll hit here. You can see the change here, so I'm true to false real quick. You also see that another barcode was read. This time the barcode is a code 128 barcode, and the data is another barcode. And you can also see here another barcode, which shows that the robot was able to read that data. If I click on it again, not holding another barcode in front of the QR code, it will read the QR code text with the barcode type QR code. Now I'm going to cover the QR code text so that we can see what happens when the vision system doesn't actually find a barcode. As you can see no barcode was found. So if we get that we can tell the robot, the robot will say okay I didn't find the barcode. So you can say maybe I need to run it again to see Maybe it's just the fluke. So I run it again, and it reads the barcode. Well, in this case, the QR code. Now, this has been a simple demonstration of the whole barcode reading uh, framework. Of course, you can change the scripts to do other things, like track an object, do color pattern matching, 
anything you want really because the open CV world is or any type of whatever you want is open to you. You can use TensorFlow, Slam, or your own vision processing that you made yourself. Now before exiting I want to make sure to disable my robot. So I'll bring the control station up again. I'm going to hit D to disable. You now see that it's disabled. And now I can exit everything. Alright, thank you.